Hi, Muhammad Mostakim here. Welcome to SM Flay in English. In this lesson, you could learn about collocations in English. But what are collocations? Well, collocation means that some words fit together and other words don't. Right. Now, let's look at these phrases. Hard traffic, strongly exhausted, totally freezing, apply to a job, apply for a company. Are these correct? No, not correct. Well, if you said any one of them to someone, they would understand what you meant. But remember, English native speakers never use them. Do you know the way, the right way to say them? Hmm. The most appropriate way you could say is heavy traffic or terrible traffic or bad traffic, right? Totally exhausted, extremely freezing. <coughs> Excuse me. Apply for a job but never say apply for a company. Say apply to a company. So what's the point here? Well, the point is collocation. Collocation means, again, that some words fit together and other words don't. What's the most confusing about collocation? It's very confusing. Well, there isn't any logic to it. This is what makes collocation more difficult and perplexing. So, in this lesson, you're going to learn some common collocations in English, how to learn and remember, and why you should focus on collocations as part of your study. Right? Let's get straight to it. First, verb collocation. This is often we use in speaking regularly. Do a favor. Do the best. Make a mistake. Make the best. If someone says, make a favor, make the best, it would be nonsense, right? Get in. Get confused. Give a lift. Give someone a minute. <clears throat> have a problem or have a break. However, we have some adjective noun collocations. And these are a great achievement, a big decision. Also, adverb adjective collocations. Terribly hot, extremely important. Let's get into the final one. Now, now collocations. A slice of cake, a pile of books. Now, there is a question certainly going across your mind. How to learn collocations? Well, the best way to learn collocations is to do regular reading and listening. Practice as you read or listen and pay proper attention to collocations. Now, you shouldn't be telling yourself that this is something, for example, terribly hot. Terribly. This is something I'm already familiar with. Terribly and hot. Now, Remember, don't pay focus, don't pay attention on individual words and meanings. It could have been terribly hot or badly hot or extremely hot or strongly hot. But remember and keep in mind that none of these words fits with the word hot or a big decision. Or it could have been a large decision, a huge decision. An enormous decision. Remember, none of the words except big perfectly fits with the word decision. Is that clear? Hop. It helps and enables you to speak more naturally and fluently. Thank you for watching. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and bye for now.